What's up everybody, welcome to the Amateur Coder channel. So for the next couple of videos, we're gonna be doing a complete walkthrough of the GetX package. And all this code will have been pre-approved by the author of the package, so you know you can trust it. For this video, we're gonna do a complete navigation guide from the GetX package. So let's get into it. So this app that I have has four different screens. We got the home screen, the second screen, third screen, and fourth screen. Right now, the what we start with is just a screen with a bunch of buttons that don't do anything. But as we go, we're gonna implement all these buttons. So the only button that does work right now is the go to second button. So you see nothing else works, but this go to second is implemented using normal navigation instead of using get X. So how does get X make this easier? Well, you don't need the whole context. But before we get to that, we need to make this a get material app first. All right. So now I can show you how much easier it is with the get package. All we need to do is get dot two and then second. Instead of this whole line and instead of needing the context, we only need that small simple line. And we can remove the context from this function. We don't have to pass it or anything. And we can save it. And we get the same exact action with only this many letters instead of this whole thing and in the context. But let's say you don't like this. But let's say you don't like this syntax. You like the syntax given by the Flutter package. You can use it still. So let's copy this code and paste it here. We can remove the context change this navigator to lowercase and now you're using the getx package you don't need the context and your syntax is almost exactly the same as it is for normal flutter and like you see everything still works all right for now we're going to forget about these other buttons that aren't implemented but we will make sure to get back to it towards the end of the video but let's go to the second screen let's see what's going on here so we're in the second screen and we want to go to the third screen and remove this screen from the stack. That is super simple. All we have to do is get dot. Make sure to import it. Dot off. And third. And import that as well. We can save it and now you will see. We click this. We go into the third screen. But if we click back, it takes us all the way back to the home screen. So this second screen right here is removed from the stack. And we only have the home screen and the third screen in the stack. So now, what if we want to go to third and remove everything? So basically make the third screen the only screen that is visible. Just as simple, we do get off all. And then third. Now, if we go to third, we should not even see a back button because this is the only screen that we have. And go to home isn't working, so let's implement that as well. Get dot off all, and we'll bring the home screen in. So there we go, back at the home screen where we started with no other pages in the stack. So let's see what else we could do. We could return data from a different screen. So to retrieve data from the fourth screen, it's very simple as well. So we have this variable up here called data from fourth. We can do data from fourth equals await and then get two and fourth. So super simple. Just like before, except we have to make it asynchronous, of course. And then we have to do set state after to update this uh, widget right here. Obviously, if you're using the state management portion of GetX, you don't really need stateful widgets like we have here. But for this demonstration, we'll just keep it as simple as possible. So it's the same get.2 function. You just have to await it and await for the data to return from the other screen. But if we click on it, 
these two buttons aren't implemented either. See, they don't do anything. So how do we return the actual data from the other screen? Just as simple as we would think. Do get that back. And result, we can say hello. And same thing here. Get that back with result world. So if we update that, click on this, returns, and we have hello. We click world, and it'll update. Super simple. So one thing we didn't cover yet is name routes. Personally, I don't use name routes too much, but for the people that do, this is definitely an important feature. So here's how you define your routes. And you can also update the page transition as well, as well as other fields. So let's say transition.zoom. So now you have different transitions and you could define all these other properties for each get page. So now how do you move between these pages with a named route? So let's go to the home page with name routes. I actually think we need to restart because this main runs only once. But then the home page, all you do is get to named. And then let's say we want to go to second. Simple as that. There you go. Now, how do you pass a name route with a parameter? That's another big thing that we need to do. So let's say get that to named. I want to go to the fourth screen and we want to have some arguments. So let's say here we just want a string that says passed from second. Great. How do we retrieve those arguments? It's pretty simple. We just do get dot arguments. And what we're going to do here. Just for simplicity, we're going to check that it does not equal null. If it doesn't, return something. And if it does, return those columns again. And then we're just going to display text of get.arguments. So let's see. We press this, and we see pass from second. And the reason I made this separate is because if we don't pass an argument, then we still get to see the screen and everything works. I'm gonna pass with parameter, pass with second. Everything's so simple with the get x package. So now the very last part, snack bar, dialog, and bottom sheet. All three of these become super simple with get x. You don't need context, you don't need anything. All I need to do is get snack bar. Add a title, get x is awesome, and a message, you should try it. Now if we save that, you see you don't need any context or anything, just click it, snack bar shows up. Each of these have lots of properties, you could go through all of them. Things like snack position. And snack position dot bottom. That's where I usually like my snack bar. Shows up there. Very simple. Dialog is just as simple. Just do get default dialog. Title is easy dialog. Content. We can have any widget, but we're just gonna have some text saying this is too easy. And now we click on it. Look at that. Very simple dialogue. And even bottom sheets become super simple. Let's do get dot bottom sheet. And here you can put any any widget you want.
look how easy that is. So, that's pretty much it. That's most of what you will ever need with navigation. GetX makes it super simple. There's a couple other more advanced features that GetX supports for navigation, but you can check those off by yourself. This is just meant to get you started exploring. But from what I've shown today, you should be able to do anything you want in terms of navigation with GetX. It makes it really easy to do snack bars, go from screen to screen, pop off all the other layers in your stack, and it even supports named routes. So that's it for this video. Hopefully that helped you with Get X in navigation. Next video will be the big one with state management. But anyway, thanks for watching. This code will be on GitHub. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to leave it in the comments. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share if you enjoyed the video. And thanks for watching.